Hi everybody, Clark Cosplay here. I want to talk about a product that I have come to be quite fond of um, as of late. So, and I've actually used this quite a bit. So this is called Bounce, and it's from Hot Water Foam Factory. And Hot Water Foam Factory deals with a lot of uh, products, uh, materials, adhesives, and even tools specifically for, specifically for use with polystyrene foam, like uh, styrofoam and XPS foam, which I've used on several occasions. Um, Bounce is a product that was designed and marketed specifically as an additive to their all-purpose foam coat. And this is the foam coat. It's a powder. You mix it with water in certain ratios, and it's basically, uh, it, it dries and cures to be kind of like a plaster, a hard plaster. But Bounce is a rubberizer that you would add to that mixture and kind of change the, change the, uh, the, the effect of, of the material itself. So it becomes kind of like a rubberizer to the hard surface. But a while ago, I was testing some of these products and I said, well, what the heck is, uh, you know, how, how, does, how does Bounce do this by itself? Um, is it even is it even worth doing by itself? Um, and I use it on polystyrene XPS and EVA foam, and actually this stuff is very wonderful for both XPS uh, polystyrene and EVA foam. So I use this stuff as a sealant primarily, especially for XPS foam, but also on certain applications of EVA foam. So um, typically my favorite, of course, is Plasti Dip, which we get um, quite readily and quite cheap cheaply here in the States. But any place that I have a very high likelihood of damage or wear, I will use Bounce because this stuff gets brushed on with a, um, a foam brush. And it's, it's, it's solid white, it's just milk white, but you brush it on uh, about two or three coats and it creates a very, I wanna say bomb proof layer uh, coat that adheres very well to EVA foam, adheres very well to XPS foam. If you sand off the top film, the XPS foam doesn't look like it has like a, a, a film on it, but you actually do have to sand it off just like you do on the rough side of uh, formats, EVA formats, but bonds very well and acrylic paint binds very well to it also. And I also just recently, recently realized you can use this as an effective clear coat as well. So it goes on white and it dries totally clear. So this is a piece of EVA 50 higher density TNT cosplay supply foam, um, but I used um, about I think two coats of the bounce as a sealant on it, and then I painted on. This is um, Liquitex heavy body acrylic. This is folk art acrylic, and this is Tamaya gold leaf. This side is just totally uncovered uh, with a clear coat. There's nothing on it. It's just bare acrylic paint, and this side. I put on three coats of Bounce. Now, the drawback, of course, with this is that it's brushed on, so it's not quite as smooth as, say, using, um, a, 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 using a varnish or some, or, or some sort of a spray uh, clear coat. Um, but the advantage to this stuff is not only is it very, very flexible, I mean, this is a rubberizer, this is a rubber coating. It does not sacrifice the color of the paint underneath it, which is very good. It binds it very well, but it also protects, it creates a very, very strong protective layer. So I use this as kind of an example. So I treated this piece on both sides very, very roughly. I took, I mean, I, I stepped on it, I took a fork and just stabbed it. I took a, a flathead screwdriver and just stabbed it. I, I, um, 
I even took, you know, I, 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 I squeezed it and bunched it up. I even took an X-Acto knife and just went slicing with it. So on the side that's untouched, you can see all those different marks and just like the cuts and things like that. Um, but on the side that's been sealed, I mean, there's definitely some creasing because I really just crimped this up as, you know, really, really bad. Definitely more, far more extreme than if any piece of EVA farmer that I would wear would ever get. But, and, I mean, as you can see, a lot of this stuff, it just, it just ends at, it just ends at the bounce layer, you know? But, it, of course, when I, when I put this in, you know, like, here's, here's a, here's a screwdriver, you know, if I pound it in, yeah, okay, there's marks there, but if you take uh, a heat gun at uh, very, very low heat, or um, if you don't have the proper settings on a heat gun, a hair dryer, and just very carefully went over this, all these, these bumps will go away. And so it, it, when, when, I, when I put stuff on some of my armor, and I say, yes, the bounce is, it's quite bomb proof. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. Like, like it's it's quite amazing stuff and it's it's interesting because bounce is not designed specifically for this it's designed as an additive for something else but by itself it's wonderful and here's another example so here is here's a shoe to paladin ultra and paladin armor that i made as a commission so this is also high density foam um, but it was sealed and clear coated with the bounce. And, you know, again, it's, it's not perfectly smooth, but it's pretty darn close. Yeah, there's some breast strokes and, you know, like my foam brush is probably a little older than it should be, but, but this stuff is really, really nice. And, and, and as you can tell, it's a nice glossy finish. So I put this on you know, on this particular piece because well it's it's the bottom of a shoe it's the most it's the most likely piece out of the entire suit of armor to get damaged whether it get kicked or scuffed or something like that but it's 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 going to hold up to the damage resistance quite well and I'm quite thrilled by that so um so yeah, you can repair crinkles and things like that with very low heat. Anything higher will most likely uh, start to bubble and destroy things. But you know, just just like anything other, any you know, plasti dip or or uh, uh, other clear coat or sealant, you can under low heat repair uh, your foam pieces. So. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's balance. Like again, again I'm, I'm really excited about this. So, uh, another thing on the balance, if, uh, when you put it on a smooth, non-porous, I should say, non-porous surface, it, it dries and cures, um, relatively smooth. Uh, you know, again, there's some, some brush marks there, but it's, it's, it's pretty smooth stuff. And once it dries, you got to let it cure for about four hours. And then you can just go to town on top of it. Um, but when you put it on uh, XPS foam or polystyrene of any type, um, no matter how smooth you sand the surface, you're still going to end up finding that once you put on a coat of balance, it's going to be very rough. It's going to feel like sandpaper itself. So what you got to do is just very lightly sand um the surface with uh you know i could use this like 320 grit and then in uh, 400 grit um, and then just put another coat and then just do the same thing um, so the smoothness definitely depends on the how porous your material is but eva foam is is just wonderful stuff on that so bounce specifically designed and marketed for uh, as a rubberizer additive to their all-purpose foam coat but I don't even use it for that. I use it for a sealant for XPS foam and as a bomb proof sealant and clear coat for very high damage susceptible pieces of EVA foam. Um, and so that's kind of the, the, the little brush marks on there is kind of the, kind of the, uh, 
the sacrifice I make for very high damage resistance. So, um, so I love this stuff. If you want to go ahead and give it a try, go go check out Hot Wire Foam Factory. This is this is a fairly big bottle. It's a 32 ounce bottle. They got smaller bottles and they even have bigger ones. So, depending on how big your project is, but EVA foam, this stuff is just wonderful. So, um, if you have any questions about that, give me uh, give me a holler. Uh, I'm down. Just drop a comment down uh, below the video or visit my Facebook page, uh, Clark Cosplay, or I also have Instagram, Clark Cosplay. Um, but thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.